This is Chrissy from Crafty Kate, and today I'm going to be reading Chester by Melanie Watts. So let's get started. Go. Hi, I'm Melanie Watts, and I'm trying to write and illustrate a story about a mouse. But Chester just won't stop interfering. Thank goodness. Now it's a great book about me. See what I mean? Chester keeps doodling on and rewriting my story with his annoying red marker. How am I supposed to deal with this cat upstaging me at every turn? I need to think of a way to put an end to this before he completely takes over. Good luck, Einstein! As you can tell, Chester, aka the rude and self-centered furball, always has to have the last word. Not true. You see? See what? What did I tell you? Whatever. Dear readers, I apologize for Chester's behavior in my mouse story. Sorry for the inconvenience. Sincerely, sincerely Melanie Watt. Blah, blah, blah. For Marcos, Eva, Melina, and Layla. For Chester, because... I couldn't have made this book without him. He is the smartest, most handsome cat in the world. I wish I would, I could be like him someday. Chester, not written and illustrated by Melanie Watt. Once upon a time, there was a mouse. He lived in a house in the country. Then the mouse packed his bags and went on a trip very, very far away, and we, nev and we never saw him ever again. Hasta la vista, mousy. So Chester moved in and made a few changes to his new place. My curtains, Chester's chair. Chester's home sweet home. But Mouse returned home. Oh yes, and did I mention he brought back a really big souvenir with teeth? Back to the story. Once upon a time there was a mouse. He lived in Chester. Move out of the way. He lived in the country with his vegetarian dog who only ate carrots. Then Melanie begged Chester to write a big, better story. And it goes something like this. Once upon a time, there was me. Chester stands for C. Charming. H. Handsome. E. Envy of mouse. S. Smart. T. Talented. E. Envy of Melanie. R. Really handsome. Chester lived in Chesterville where mice weren't allowed. It was a beautiful day. Until it started to rain. Now, as I was saying, once upon a time there was a mouse. He lived in a house in the country, and he lived happily ever after. The end. I can't work like this. Chester, this is where I draw the line. Nope, I'm drawing the line. Do not cross this line. Keep out Chester's side. Chester, that's enough. Hand over the marker this instant. Chester's busy zzz. Hi, I'm Melanie Watt and I'm very angry. Hello, I'm boring and I'm jealous of Chester. Chester, I'm warning you. Hand over the marker up and apologize before I count to three. One, two, three... And 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, la, la, la. All right, Chester, you want your own story? 
you want to be the star of this book? Well then, get ready. Here it is. Finally. Once upon a time, there was a cat named Chester. He lived in a house in the country. Chester was a very handsome cat, especially when he wore a pink. You wouldn't. Tutu! Now it's personal. Hmm. Melanie Watt lives in Montreal, Quebec. She is boring. The author and illustrator of a number of children books, including the Scaredy Squirrel series. Scaredy who? Chester's Back, Austin Leon and the Chameleon, and the Learning with Animals collection. This biography is putting me to sleep. Chester has been harassing Melanie to figure him in his very own picture book since 1999. Forget what her... What's her name? Chester is the real author and illustrator of Chester, critically acclaimed by Chester himself. He is the best, it's the best book in the universe. For more praise for Chester, trumpet debut, mouse. Chester is a genius. His art reminds me of Melanago's but with more emotional depth. Melanie Watt. Mice rule. And that's the end of Chester by Melanie Watt. Hope you liked this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye!